Hey, pack leaders, this is Kim, our friends are protecting Fallon, protecting Pack. I want to do a video, kind of talk about how to trade high leverage on um, Bybit, Bitmex, whatever it is. Now, it seems like the movement is so erratic, it's so quick that uh, we really don't have the time to um, um, what would say put the orders in. So you can see that there's 48x right here that we're using. Uh, as soon as we get in, sometimes uh, we don't get in properly, and that's where DCA actually helps with that. Now when you DCA, you, you, you wanna make sure that you manage your wallet accordingly. When we're manually trading, we don't type in calculate, hey, I have this much wallet, and use 30% of that, and then break that up to a third, and then maybe the other two thirds down. So you have to kinda of calculate all that real quick, and then place your orders in. I mean, if you think about doing it manually, by the time that's all done quickly, like, you know, the uh, the opportunity window is, is gone, right? You didn't put your order in fast enough or whatever. And so what the bot is able to do is to kind of calculate that in like 25 seconds to maybe 50 seconds on, on the high end and be able to know when that price motion or the acceleration is it coming down, it's starting to, to kind of go down and slowing down a little bit to put that order in, hit that long, and then take off the other way. And then if that happens to be wrong, and we kind of estimate wrong, well, there's a dollar, dollar cost average where it's much bigger, two times bigger than the initial run. So if it hits that, it's gonna bring that profit line down. And when it bounces up, then that's where we can, you know, take profit and not get stuck if it's a continued trend, trending down, okay? So uh, it, you can, you know, do this manually, I guess, maybe, but I, I, I wouldn't want to. And uh, just like any other job, if you stop trading, you stop making money. So I kind of, even though like it took a while to get to this point, I was like, oh man, and it seems like it's so right, I can't figure this out. And we, and you know, these guys are trading manually, doing really well, I, I get it, I get it, but it's not what I want to do. <laughs> you know, I don't want to specialize in, in tick marks. I don't know, if you want to call it that way. I, I'd rather work on the system uh, rather than being a specialized, you know, handyman or a painter or, you know a specialized skill that if you stop using that skill you're done i'd rather translate that skill into a code or into a bot or or, or systematize to document that and then of course you can hire people to follow that documentation and then you have a system so i'd rather focus on the system rather than uh focusing on the skill and and and, and uh, acquiring myself so instead whatever i've learned i've kind of translate it into that bot code and every time we take a loss there's an opportunity to learn it's like oh i didn't think of that <laughs> so let's go ahead and add those countermeasures in and i don't have to remember remember doing those countermeasures anymore it's already programmed into the bot so that we're all set up to handle at that kind of situation that scenario so that's what we do in uh in the trade bot and the leverage trapper bot leverage trapper bot okay so right now i think we're trying to uh, take profit as it's coming down uh we might take a couple bucks here We'll see what happens. I think we might close out. Hard to see. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit. But it looks like it's like struggling to to fill my order here. Like <laughs> two, three dollars, whatever, one percent. So if it does, it does drop down. Then no problem. We got this guy. We will have another opportunity to to capture that. So we'll initially set a kind of take profit based on the price action of these two candles and maybe about 60 to 80 percent of that so that we know that you know we know that it always keeps crossing back and forth back and forth sometimes it doesn't then we'll go ahead and cancel this order and then try to take profit a little early now if it doesn't and it kind of goes back into negative then we'll cancel this and we'll reset it back up because sometimes that happens it'll kind of like fake you out you try to take profit take profit you really take less and all of a sudden it goes back negative and then you're like oh whatever i'll take the loss and then it just pops back up again I mean, who knows right so it's just a very deceptive kind of thing and i don't want to be making decisions i don't want to be having to like type it in okay take profit oh i can't i gotta chase it down chase it down keep putting those orders in and then uh the kids are messing with you and you look over like okay, oh, i'll do it now <laughs> and now i miss that opportunity right so it monitors that that um, that charts about you know about every second I guess it kind of loops through and it takes about half a second to uh, do all those calculations and uh, and uh, decide what it needs to do now I have some exciting things here um, maybe for later but let me go ahead and share my requirements I, I don't really want to watch to see if it takes profit or not it's just a couple bucks but do it many times throughout the day and you're up $61 using uh, $203. So, you know, based on this margin here, uh, we're probably 25, is that 25? 15, no, 
Yeah, 25% uh, return on what we risk. So if we make 100, that'll be 50% of what we risk. And we're at 12 o'clock, we still have seven days to go. So watch, so this is what it's doing right now. Freak out, and then this will cancel maybe, and then we'll reset that back up, and who knows, it might pop back, back, back up. Or it'll maybe hit my second run will dollar cost average in, and get in a better position so it doesn't take off without us, and uh, leave us holding the bag for so long. So this is also important because I don't know what these two numbers are, and it's hard to calculate these two numbers. Especially uh, when I was trading manually, you would kind of over, um, you would over trade and use up more than what you're supposed to use. And all of a sudden you're like, dude, I just empty up my entire account and I'm kind of waiting for it to bounce back up. And I need dollar cost average in properly. I need to spread it out properly. I kind of packed it all right here on the top and now I'm kind of screwed, right? And that's not what we want, want, want to do, okay? All right, so let me uh, give me share also. Let me let me pull this up right here, and then you can probably see my requirements for the next build. It's gonna be pretty exciting for you guys. Um, it's gonna be also. It's not gonna be on a web server because just the amount of computation time that's needed. And I'll just kind of put this here. If it takes profit, I'll let you know. We'll kind of put this on the side, but I think it'll. I'll take profit pretty soon. So let's go ahead and max this out real quick. And so this is the uh, another, it's not UBOT, it's a different platform called Macros Engine. And we'll see how it goes because it's, it's a very new tool that's being developed. But we're going to basically integrate uh, PowerShell so we can connect the web sockets from our computer, from our VPS, uh, licensing stuff we need, Google Charts so you can kind of. Um, you know, plot the stuff that we get from our price motion and then, you know, fly feed the dynamic data into Google Charts and then Google Charts will kind of plot that out for us and we kind of see different stuff. So you kind of maybe, uh, let me see, they have crosshairs, they have uh, plot charts, I think they also have financial data, some lines, let's see here, different lines. I think they have also financial charts if I can find it. Two to crosshairs. Uh, quick start customized chart chart types there he goes um, bar charts yeah is this the uh, this what I want no that's not what I want I want uh, uh tree Look at candle charts, candlestick charts. Yes, that's why I need candlestick charts. So that's exciting right there. Yeah, uh huh. So now we can kind of plot this dynamic data with it. But uh, with also acceleration, we kind of plot the date, you know, the price, and also follow it with the velocity and acceleration, and see what those numbers are, so that we kind of determine what the pattern is. And and then we'll, what we're gonna do is use AI. Uh, there's gonna be we're gonna integrate TensorFlow. And uh, I'll have to talk to the developer see if he can do this. To incorporate um, neural networks into it so we can decide based on those charts what's a good time to uh, get in and out. So there's some machine learning kind of stuff where you can recognize the charts, recognize the numbers, uh, we can set up the neural networks on air. Uh, so it's pretty cool. And there's kind of you a lot of cool stuff you can play with here. I don't know if there's uh, maybe a, something I can show you that might make it look cool. Introduction TensorFlow machine learning. So it's open source. It's all going to be integrated into that. So it might take a while to just get this up, but it could basically read images and you know so maybe see where things are going, and then kind of distinguish what's what and decide based on these neural networks that we set up, some inputs and outputs and whatnot. So I don't know if we're going to actually look at the chart, have the AI look at the chart and then decide, or just maybe output those numbers and based on those numbers have AI decide what's the best thing to do here maybe learn it might produce something a maybe totally different strategy that we never thought about uh, I think that's a, a other maybe uh, we'll kind of set up the tools basically um, we're given the ability to put limit orders we're given the ability to put stop losses we're given the ability to uh, maybe buy insurance I don't know and then we'll just kind of give them the tools that needs and say here here's our tools this is what you can do However you use it, however you stagger out the, the, the limit orders, how stop losses and switch things up, we give it up to you, we'll, we're hands off and that's it, we're done. 
And so we're gonna have to like run it through and it's gonna have to do a lot of scenarios and kind of play it all out and then learn from it and then store it into a database. Learn from it and then apply it and see what we can do. Uh, and I think it's gonna be fun to uh, figure this out. Uh, so I'm kind of excited about, about that too. Um, so that's just what we have. So let, let's go ahead and see what else is on there. Uh, we're gonna be able to integrate. So we're gonna start with Bybit and then we'll probably integrate with other uh, platforms as needed. Uh, so we're going to recreate this but using WebSocket so it's much faster and price motion formula that's what it is right there it's pretty simple right just previous price minus current price divided by the time and then you know your physics stuff right <laughs> v2 minus v1 divided by the time would be your acceleration or p2 minus p1 minus the time is your velocity right uh, that's kind of it and so we're going to do this and we'll have different uh, time frames that we can look at but then we're going to kind of move a little further and go into um, harmonics equations so there's like angular velocity there's frequency there's wavelength there's amplitude and I'm kind of thinking like maybe because it kind of follows like this bouncing ball on a staircase so let's go ahead and look at it um, so I'm kind of researching that and I need to figure out oh, so it looks like we took profit already uh, yeah I look like we took profit sorry I can, you know let you see that so there's another uh, Maybe thousand, hundred, ten. So that was eight dollars right there. Nice little eight bucks they just took in. While I was talking to you, we made eight eight dollars. Alright, so anyways. Um where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Oh. I think we were let me show you this real quick. Yeah, so now we're sixty eight. Yeah, we we're at sixty, now we're at sixty eight, so there you go. All right, back to the documents. All right, so now once we're done with that, um, we're gonna provide AI with all the harmonics. Yeah, like I said, the amplitude and stuff. And then maybe we might set up some dollar cost averaging stuff so that you can kind of, uh, kind of use it. Uh, so they have like, maybe we'll teach them how to do dollar cost averaging but maybe the AI will be able to space it out better instead of spacing it linearly out every 75 or 100 bucks it might be able to stagger it and say hey if it kind of maybe based on uh, Fibonacci or um, looking back and say hey okay based on the, the history the Fibonacci points of uh, 1.6 and 1.18 uh, I should probably place an order here maybe there's another uh, support resistance here and kind of dollar cost average based on support and resistance previously and that way it'll probably be smarter at placing it right because we just kind of like hey this is just two every hundred whatever i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> we just if it hits it great if it doesn't whatever right uh, but now it will be able to smartly place our, our our runs okay and um let's see auto leverage based on entry price and liquid so we'll probably you know adjust the leverages too as you increase your contract your risk increases also People don't know that uh, you know what worked with a thousand contracts, and you know, once you go to ten thousand contracts, that changes your risk. It actually reduces your liquidation distance, so you actually get liquidated earlier if you don't deleverage. So it counts for those contracts and deleverages, so you keep the maintaining that same distance of le of risk uh, between uh, liquidation and stuff. So that's all kind of squared away. And there's maybe some stuff like we could play later on. Let's say you're in profit and you already have a nice little chunk of of profit that you haven't taken yet and you want to continue going in because um, uh, it's trending right it's, it's going to the moon or whatever so you can kind of use that leverage and wrap up that leverage with no um, downside risk and add another order and just double down on it and just you know add more contracts but then you have no risk because your risk is covered by the profit that you already made and then stop profit it so that you can add more contracts double down take off more High leverage that, but no risk to the downside because you're gonna stop out with uh, with profit. Okay, so those are some things that uh, to you want to look out for. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be available, but that's kind of what's in the works right now. And it's really up to the programmer that we're hiring to see if uh, he can do it fast enough. But based on my, I'm already using it for other bots for like overage stuff, and it's kind of taken like two three months already just to do a few things. So I think this looks like a project that might take about a year and a half to two years to get done. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, he probably has other things to work with, and he does mine a little bit, and he does another project and does mine a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Okay. 
So uh, if you guys are excited, any, you guys have any feature requests or any suggestions on that, uh, let me know and we'll kind of stack it to the list. But we want to get a basic um, minimum, vi minimum viable product that will work. But most importantly, we just want the chart. I want to see the chart, some price motion, so we can kind of use that and tie that into the current block. And maybe just it, it'll be a server to kind of just kick off price motion data, and we just tie up current bot for now as we've developed the other one to be a, on a standalone. And that way, it will feed the current um, the bot the current bot and make better decisions for us, or I mean, allow us to make better decisions, and also be able to see a chart or plot so we can kind of observe what's going on, and then we can manually kind of in increase those transition points or, or tweak them or whatnot uh, in a better sense and under and study it and understand it. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you then. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a grandfather's thing. Uh, we'll see. Um, and uh, But most likely, I'm not going to say. <laughs> so honestly, I don't know how much it's going to cost me later on and uh, what it's going to take. So we'll see. All right, thanks for watching.